Alright, I hope you guys are getting on with the first Abyssal Lord. I'm just restarting my game. Yes, I'm inside. Sorry, I'm doing something else. Reefer. <laughs> well, we got the journey. I'm How do I. I don't know how to use the scepter. Does that come up? Oh, it does. You equip everything? Yeah, you got it. Did you get my ones? Congrats, Valorant. Cool, let's start going to the next abyssal stone. If you want any of the stuff that drops, you just roll for it. It's not really main spec off spec apart from the purple items. Make sure you put in your SRs. Remember, some items are on a rank restricted list by the SR level. So do check out your loot system. Make sure your SR isn't contradictory because it just goes to the highest rank if there's any problem. Unless it's obviously someone's off spec, which is all detailed in the rules. I won't be holding your hand through this, you guys need to figure this out for yourselves. I will lock the SR sheet in about 4 minutes, or once we get inside it. Whatever comes last. You can summon it the second you get here, thank you. Yeah, any more clues? Oh, for goodness sake. Give Strut of the Cloves. You still need them. He has a star above his head. That will make this easier by giving my tanks assistance at this point. It's on Master Loop, buddy. We'll change the group loot for a second then. Unreal. Some in the auction house at this some point, someone I'll just buy them. Come on, people. 
Click your buttons. Where is an auction house, by the way? I'm just buying them because this is torture. Somebody? Can someone just fucking talk? <laughs> oh. It is Valorin's lucky day. God damn, buddy. We have two of these. If you want them, just roll. I'll give them to the top two rollers. Rakaidos, congrats. Some of these cost a decent amount of money depending on how you go about it. It can cost about 100 gold per, or you can get it quite a bit cheaper. That was 254.3 without including the uh, rods or clothes. I love the raid wide discipline of being silent, by the way, people, but right now is a real good time that you should be talking. Get out of your system. Bye. <laughs> Someone had to. Balls, balls, balls. <laughs> Ricardo, she let us down. Yeah, I need a shoulder from anybody when we get there. You need a shoulder? Yeah, it's one I call to shoulder. Understood. I have one. Now, Valorin said he bought a third summon thing for the wind guy, so he may as well pop it. Let's see if we get another cloak for someone. Make people very happy. Third windstone is not up. I repeat, third windstone is Mother not fuckers. up. Motherfuckers. It was up when I checked 40 minutes ago, I swear. Oh my god, this coin guy. Go straight to AQ40, people. Do not pass go. Well, someone's already rage quit. I guess he wanted that cloak. <laughs> <laughs> it does mean that we will guarantee a wind guy next time we do them. And with all RNG, we'll have more wind guys. Teleport set. Beautiful. Did I give Dartan any assignments? Because he said he's going to be an hour late. Not until Sakura. Eh, we don't worry about that. <clears throat> Alright, the SR sheet's about to lock. Make sure you've got your shit sorted, people. Or you want SRs, that's more than the people who are here. Just a heads up, you guys are going to be lucky I do Emerald Blessing. I'm really going to forget to do Mark of the Wild. Let's get in, start popping consumes, consumes, start getting buffed up. Pick up your oranges. 
Um, can you keep him for now, Funky? I need my bag spaces. Raid is locked. Copying the data. Can I, I refresh the page? Can I get a link, please? And I like it. Yep. Should work together, Soliana. Cool. So let's pull this eradicator once it gets towards us. Still need the mic, please. If anyone needs a mount, let me know. Thanks, start throwing out marks, get ready to pick them up. We'll be killing a spell reflect one first. After that, we'll probably be going for fawns or reduce regeneration, and we'll just go from there. But the idea is we figure out what's going on, then we decide the kill order. How they commend them? Um, Mummy, you're just going to be a, what's it called, group flame tank. I won't be on top of Wind Fury. Cool. Can I be in the flame tank? Can we yeah. do it? Shouldn't we swap mommy and I I want? Because it's easier for I want to do flame tongue and it's easier for mommy to do venture in those groups. Okay, let's just get ready to pull these guys. Whoever wants to deal with the groups, you have assistance, deal with the groups. Sorry, we're missing the Yeah. Let's just focus on the right. I think we want to go for square first, because we're not back. Just start on the square. After square, we'll go for cross. After cross, we're going for moon. And then after moon, we're going for square. So on to moon next, and then we'll be going for star. With this damage, we don't have to. Grabbing the eradicator. Mercurial, I'll make sure you get a mount when an XC will drop. I'm not going back to pick up that one all the way over there. If we can pick up this eradicator, we pick up this eradicator. And for the next Anubis Half Sentinels, we'll be fighting them in the previous room. That way we can use this doorway to line of sight them if we need it, so we'll have a shadow storm. So everyone else, get the folk back. Out of mouthful. Beautiful. Thunderclap on triangle. Star is Shadow Storm, keep it on the other side of the gate. Square is Mortal Strike, we'll go for Square first. Shadow Storm. We'll go for Cross next. After this, we've got Thunderclap on Triangle, so melee. And then we it's almost time to start bringing in the Shadow Storm. Yeah, everyone run towards the Shadow Storm. Good job, no deaths. That's what we like to see. For this boss, we have Mummy and Lighten Up on the right, we have Funky on the left, and Mifrin on the boss. Make sure you pop the Greater Arcane Protection Potion, it will just help you out. On the boss splits, we want to make sure we are killing the um, splits first, it's priority one, until the final split. They have net 25% all the way throughout. There is no ready check, Mifrin, just go when you're ready. Going. Cool. 
Odd groups on the left, even groups on the right if you're casting. So eager to die, I will be happy. Right, first split's about to happen. Thanks, make sure we pick it up. The real guy was on is now on the right hand side. Your friends will abandon you. Make sure we kill you for split. Cool. See this warrior. We've got the real guy in the middle again. Someone grab the square. You need to CC the mind controlled. Yeah, CC me. And our final split's about to come. We just focus down yeah. square at this point. Mm -hmm. Spell, please. CC me from. We'll CC the last time. Zero SR, zero SRs. Lighten up. Congratulations on your SR, buddy. These are fucking nice. Anyone got some main spec rolls? That's huge. I was thinking, yeah, I went for sure. I was just checking my spell power on one time. I'm just taking this straight to team. I'll get some other shit. Here we go. Let's go for it. I'll do that, we don't. Hug the left here as we go down, don't peek over the ledge. Oh god, you move fast, Funky, I love it. Mm -hmm. Are the warriors there yet? Make sure we kill them all at the exact same time. Mages, arcane explosions, your friend here. They're gonna do so much fucking damage, you'll love to know this. Bartek, feel free to hellfire. I felt that lag spike. Ooh! That's, that's a spoiler for the tunnel. Oh, free Make sure you jump over the ledge. Kill the brain monsters first. Remember, be in front of those guys so you don't get knocked back up there like everyone else just did. As yeah. I see everyone fall from the rooftops. Yeah, don't be afraid to hit these guys from the front. Mm -hmm. The next pack we're pulling, make sure that the um, little warrior guys are in between you and the doorway, so you can't get knocked back into the classroom. Someone is not picking up a guardian. Fuck, I miss it. Your heart will explode. Beautiful, let's do that with smoother. <clears throat> yep, we're doing the ouch last today for the wood trio, just so people can head up. DCJC. It just wasted my hurricane. I'm so sad. I 
these sort of gloves as you mortal. Give it some rolls if you want them. Your heart will explode. I got muted. They're going to Jameis. Cool. So as Coin said, we're killing Yard last day, so we give it a blue scare, we're killing Kree first, and then we're killing them second. And for this, we need to make sure we're poison cleansing for the first phase, and we need to make sure we're on top of our fear wards throughout the fall of so I'm pretty certain that's you're grounding clear. totem. The Trama totem, whichever one, you know your shit, use the correct totem. Trama, beautiful. Can I just suggest a quick swap with Mithrin on Kree and lighten up with them on me instead? Yeah, that's fine. You guys can swap however you think is best. Lighten up. You hear that? Give us a plus. Cool. Yep. Then, guys. Cool. Kings. Someone buff, buff fucking kings. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> As we're killing Kree, we need to make sure it dies away from the other room, please. It drops the poison on the floor. That's still a bit too close to the middle. Cool, we're killing them next. Beware. Be guys. Shamans need to definitely be more on top of their tremors. Gotcha, you guys just have to stack them with me, he's on the ouch. Thank you, that's in range. Cool. One spam is dead, kill the ads. Oh, it's not the ads on this one, that's fine. And then tanks just taunt spam on the ouch, please. Yeah, Ideally, it ends on me. Beware! Beware! Get ready to kill some babies. Kill those children, people. You will die. And a lot of people died, so we will spend a second rebuffing. We had zero SR, so let's just get the loot going. Fire spell damage, so most likely mages give the roll. Stay here if you want to be buffed. If you're passing, you have to trade it. Thanks, you definitely got a roll for main spec if you really want tanking yeah, rings. I wasn't sure. I thought I'd do it to spec. Your heart will explode. Right soon. And it drops again eventually. Yeah. I think I've seen that ring too many times. 
So for these, we want to make sure we pick up the warrior pack first, and then we'll deal with the guardians afterwards. Because I'm assuming the warriors are right around the corner. Yeah, they're coming now. Yeah, but they can get yeah. on the wall first, right? Yeah, they go back and then up to us. You obviously missed my announcement. You're lucky that I'm doing Emerald Blessing. I'll give it the tanks, though. Death is close. Well, we missed them. Okay, cool. We'll pick up the trash pack in front of us then. Tanks, write your marks. Let's just split them up into two groups, three on each side. Remember, wait for any AoE you want to do. You want to make sure the tanks have a chance to actually build up threat. And you can start AoE. While our tanks get knocked around. Yo, what the fuck? Stormfield didn't take off the wheel. <laughs> They're coming again now, the warriors. I can just grab them. You're fine. Yeah. Also, it's five of you guys or four of you guys, so let's actually make sure we're splitting up these two packs. You are already dead. Spread the damage, don't focus, go. Okay, idiots. Alright, mages, AoE. Kill them dead. Any AoE taunts? It will be good about it. Alright, let's start using our brain cells. This is not difficult. We just split them up, so the skull, cross, and square on one side, and the moon, triangle, and you diamond on the other. Me. I don't care who picks up what, just split them up. One goes on this blue mark, the other one goes on this green, where the concentrates are in Are you guys just fucking retarded? Oh, there we go, beautiful. That's what I want to see, thank you. Yeah, they charge me. Control. You can control where you're stood. Oh, let's get ready with the next pull. Your courage will fail. Like? Make sure I split them up again, please, people. None of my buttons are right. Maybe you should reload. Are you holding Alt or Control by mistake? Um, all tanks you have the ability to mark, you should definitely be marking whichever target you choose. To make it easy, Mummy has Skull, Funky has Cross, Lighten Up has Square, Mifrin has Triangle. Are those all of our tanks? Rip.
Please give John salvation. We're going to AoE, wait for your AoE. Your courage will fail. Everyone put on your tankiest gear, let's get ready. You may just start amplifying magic to whole raid groups so they take less melee damage. We're having mummy starting off on triangle, lighting up starting off on, off on cross, and happy starting off on skull. That le leaves Mifrin and Funky to start off on the boss. As your target dies, you go over to skull, you help out stabilizing it with taunts and all the other fun stuff. And that also means if you're a warrior, you should also use your taunt, to be honest. It just makes life that little bit easier. Yeah, don't change my marking scheme, thanks. Let's wait for these mages to get back up to mana, and off we'll go. Alright, everyone stop mounting up, start spreading out around the room. If you're a caster, look with your eyes, pay attention, don't die. These mobs do literally roam and do AoE damage. Cool, I'm back, sorry. I just had to pick up something. Oh, good. Are you guys on the search right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Keep focusing on triangle, that's the lowest half of these two ads at the time. Cool. Kill cross. Tanks, make sure you go and help out with Satoru, make sure you're taunting it. This is the time for taunts, map. I sentence you to death. Who's got first stun in three seconds? I sentence two seconds, one death. second, stun it now. Back to taunt spam. I sentence you to death. Need more taunts. I sentence you to death. I got punch. Yep. Stun it now. Start spamming taunts. Kill it dead. Beautiful. Only two deaths. Acceptable. No SRs, zero SRs, zero SRs. Cool. Let's wow, got it. Thank Bell. Good. Alright, let's go straight to our last then. And three, two, and one goes to I won't. We're going to do something slightly different today, guys. Have it all clear? You've not, but I'm going to let you do it anyway. Yeah, we have all clear. <laughs> do I have any rules for regalia? Nope. Cool. Let's just get some regalia rolls. We're all going to be mounted up. I'll mount myself at the start. So normally we run along here, right? But we're going to run mounted. So I'm going to be in the lead, and I want you to be about 20 yards behind me. Like, just try not to put on aggro or anything. If you do, shout and we'll stop. Just so people are aware, it's these rewards.
It's not for rogues either, to be fair. So Kika's already disqualified. Next in line is a Sandro. It's not for Paladins. He's disqualified. Um, who's next? A 25 from Aloris? I should, I should 65. Ah, cool. I guess. I sh for fuck's yes. sake, mate. Aloris, 25. Yep. Um, Hunter? Hunter? Yeah, it's not for right? Hunters either. <laughs> cool. So Next, Mercurial. Mercurial. Yep. Congratulations, That's... Mercurial. Let's never have this again, please. Know what yeah. you're rolling for. 100 fucking percent know what you're rolling for. Second Atlas loot if you don't have it. <laughs> that but should go to a non-shield thing, really. But it's a purple item, I want it. <laughs> sounds about right. Um, that sounds like what the poem just won. Sorry, Gus, but like, 100 roll, you can't beat it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Everyone do what Funky says, mount the fuck up, we're charging through the tunnel, save your AoEs. I'll save my innovate for coincidence. So if anything goes wrong, we stop and halt on the spot and we kill stuff. Yeah, but let's just get behind, ready to go. Right? Far behind we're going, go go go. Everyone keep the fuck up, do not fall behind. Lost threat, of course. It's fine if you lose threat, we just need to go. Yeah, we're, stop. we're stopping. We'll turn yeah. around, stop. Pick everything up, kill it dead. Gamer. Mammy Moo, can you react um, reank? Beautiful. That's a good strategy. Yeah, good. Works so well, mate. I'm glad for you. <laughs> Must have been a hot or something. Yeah. <laughs> Coin, you can pump, buddy. I'll innovate you when you get half. Yeah, at least some mana regen or something. Try again next week, Funky. Like me oh, and BWL. Yeah. Maybe we'll get to the uh, the second mod this time. <laughs> oh, it happens. I mean, Lily's paladin is strong enough that she could just walk through and pull it all and not die. Maybe that's what we're missing out on. Um, lighting up just a heads up, you will be the tank for the t melee twin emperor. Be aware of that while you're tanking shit. You have to listen for Bartek saying going in. That is awful. Everyone get in the safe spot? We'll be starting out with Mithra and not. We'll be starting out with Mummy on this boss because she is pure chaos and she's going to start off on the boss anyway. Mithra and be ready to taunt afterwards. Funky, you're third in line. Mm -hmm. And give the mages a minute to get their mana back because they're currently doomed. Let's start moving. We don't mount up for this pole, by the way, because you know, to make it a bit easier to stabilise. We're grouping up on the ass when we see that there are snakes coming in. That's when we make sure we stun it when it gets in the middle of the rake. Mummy's got full wounds. Snake from behind. Make sure we get yeah, a stun on it, please. Make sure we kill that snake. Priority one. Next snake coming in from the right hand side. Make sure we get a stun on it when it gets to the raid group. We should kill the boss by then. Beautiful. Kill that snake. Nice job. Valorant, congrats on your SR, buddy. Today is a loot day for you, mate. And then, I have no idea who this is good for. But, actually, I do know who it's good for, but still.
The AP red theme coming together. Anyone want this as a main spec roll? Pretty good for hunters and definitely worth enchanting. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be 66 agility, that's huge. Alright, any off spec? I have a Loris roll. Cool. Congrats to Loris because you rolled before I changed to off spec. Guys, I didn't bring frost protection potion this time. Have you brought frost oil? I did. Nice, good job. Everyone putting on nature resistance gear. Hunters, if you are in a healer group or whatever else, just make sure you change to your nature resistant aura. This is not a high damage fight. This is how many frost spells you can cast to fight. They put on frost weapons and all that good stuff. And this is where I level up my dagger skill. Cool. Everyone, you have 10 seconds to put on your shit, then we're going in. We will be checking logs to make sure people are actually participating in this fight. Five, four, three, two, If you are three, a caster or a healer and two, you have a frost wand, one. make sure you use your wand. Paladins, make sure you're dispelling poison, please. This poison shouldn't be lasting this long. Any heals? Nah, it's fine. Everyone start melee attacking back. Didn't you? How did you die? That's as good as the one phase as we're going to get. Time to melee attack it again. Pay attention for if there's any slime on the back of his ass, which there is. Guys, cleanse group 6, 7, 8. They have no shaman. Arden's just download the cursive and spam the button basically while you're melee attacking. And everyone come in and kill the boss. Pretty easy fight. No deaths yet. Let's not make it happen. Button Pro, congrats on your SR. Garbrooch, zero SRs. Give us some rolls, healers. And in three, two, one. Got sniped by Jameis, Funk Gustus. Sorry to say. That's yes. right. Is it? It might be actually. Oh yeah. If no right. SLR, it's prioritized by rank. Yeah, that's fair. Cool. Great. So that is to Gustus then. Because Jameis should be a murder rank, which I can double check from the guess. Yep. Cool. Congrats, Gustus. And that's why we have people to verify my bullshit. And finally, Shaman Healers, Mages, Warlocks, Boomkin, Druids, and Rep and Tank Paladins give us a roll. Make sure you get out of your frost with um, your nature resistance scare people. Now it's time to go back to doing damage. Make sure to change your weapons.
Mercurial, try staying with the group, buddy. It's a very linear raid. Can't be getting that lost. I'll stay out of Mummy can be our executive puller because she has instant attack abilities. Go a bit crazy. We have a good group today. We have the damage. Bayouine. I literally see six mages. Remember, we're focusing on lashes first and always. Single target the lasher, and then when that's dead, you can hit we. Start focusing on the lasher people. We have another group coming in. I'm assuming people got knocked into it. And we have another lasher we need to focus down before we start airing people. I've given it a skull mark, focus on skull. Just like the Paladin tank pick up the rest, no AoE from anybody. Alright, and start the AoE. so far. I've not had to say much. Coin, do you need a shadow resistance ring? Uh, yes. We just had a 20 ring drop. No. Actually, maybe. I think I have 18 in bank. Maybe one of the other tanks needs it. Good show. You should keep it. <clears throat> it's probably like 80 gold. Um, 15. You can AoE. Make sure you stop putting on your Bar of Peasant Caller. As a caster on the next fight, you'll be using it at 40%. As a melee, you use it 30%. Once you use it and he starts enraging, make sure you take a step backwards so you aren't the closest thing to the boss. You want your peasants to be. You're literally sacrificing them for the kill. Because we have just equipped a trinket, we'll be doing a 10 second pull timer just so people have time to actually equip it. Five, four, three, two, one. Do drinking, by the way. We have the mana to kill this. Let me all rage boys pick it up first, though. There's my friend on the meter. Cast the spread loosely. And only the poison cleansing and tanks, please. That's from the bad mistake. Tanks, Mister. Don't let me from die. Casters, pop the trinket. Melee, pop your trinket. Beware. Take a step back. If you right click the boss, they will run up to it. Oh, 
Good job. Back to your normal trinkets, please, people. Keep, he keep healing me. And also, now's your time to get your mana back. Let's quickly do a roll for the Bindings of Dominance. Alright, they're going to Soliana. Give us a roll for the Bandian command. And in three, two, one, they go to Kika. Are you just rolling for your other set, Kika? Because they go to Fun Pro because you've rolled off spec, yeah. And then hide the Phalaris cards. Alright. Going to Hakuna. Cool, let's start with stacking up in the groups of casters and DPS. We have a Diamond Mark, so casters stack with Diamond on Bartek. And we have a Circle Mark, so melee stack with the Circle Blades. This is a Fire and Arcane Reflect guy. Let's find out if it's a Shadow Storm. Beware. It's from the cup, so rage stay out. Now we move it out of the group. Lord John, piss off. Strutter, bye bye. We're going to find out if it's going to explode or enrage. It's exploding, so melee run away. Beautiful. Play people do stay out. Blasters, make sure you're stacking up. Blaster Chan, um, I did mention only one hunter can have their pet out this raid. You are that hunter. Congratulations. Beware. Got a storm range to get the fuck in. Make sure you are in and stacking. Share the meteor together, it does a lot less damage. Run away, little Explosion, girl. get away. Run away. <laughs> and let's make sure we res up Aria, Mercurial, and Shara. Did you die way back here? I got teleport what it's like in front, so. Oh, I see. Be aware of the patrol on the left hand side. Do you have all res on Gus? Uh, yeah, lazy pick all took steps. Yeah, that's too dangerous to get me. I I stopped the moment you said auto res. Yeah, that's what I thought I would ask. That makes sense. Everyone start stacking up for our next pull ready, by the way. When Coincidence is resing from is a good place for the melee stack. Yeah, true, Cardos, but I definitely need the mana. I was dry. Mm -hmm. Last the Chan, if you see Skull, please pull that one for us next. Where we have cross coming. Zinnia. Run away out from this guy, he's exploding. 
into the patrol put both of away. Both pick up your totems, them. pick up all of them. Terra? Alrighty, plague boys stay out. Nice distract, I think. Can we keep a distract chain going while we just get people res the mana back? Poems in Nax with us, right? I'm pretty certain he is. Yep. Cool. Let's get ready to pull cross. We have good resources. Everyone make sure you're stacking correctly. Fire and arcane reflect. Beware. Thunderclap ring stay out. Meteors, so heavy heaters on the melee, please. Shamans, please throw out some chain heals just to help. We lost the range mark. It's alright, we give it back to bottom. Run away, it little girl. is exploding. Run away. Melee, bye bye. <laughs> Ooh, kill the last trash that's left. We have one last guy to kill. Make sure we're stacking nice and tight. We do also have people to res, so if you can res, make sure you are. Alright, it's coming in. Oh. Nice stacking. Yep, it's coming in, boys. <laughs> Fire and arcane reflect. Beware. Thunderclap, range stay out. Meteor, heavy heals the melee. Elemental shamans do just not have those chain heals. We have Mifrin and Bartek on the left hand side, Drulinka, Gustadolf, Rikaido, so you guys are healing Mifrin and Bartek. We have Lightning Up and Mummy on the right hand side, Jamis, Poem and Mami Moo, you guys are healing Lightning Up and Mummy. Bear in mind, Mummy Milkies is the Shaman tank in Group 2, she will be tanking the Caster Emperor. It's very important that we aren't using AoE on the left hand side, and that we only use our AoE on the right hand side, especially for demo shouts and things of that nature, because those mobs do not respawn. When there is a teleport that is 5 seconds before teleport we call melee out or melee start running to the other side of the room. Do not be the closest thing to the boss, let the tank be the closest to the boss otherwise you are going to take aggro and you are going to potentially cause a wipe. All hunters keep your pets locked away, blast the chance the only guy who's allowed his pet out and even he might miss it if he thinks it's a bit too risky. Because if your pet is the closest thing in, you can fuck up the boss fight too and I'm not here for it. It happened last week, it happened the week before. Let's fix this shit. So, we're going to do a ready check for this boss fight because it's the actual first hard boss of this raid. Still need to do some buffs on people. And... I'll also give everyone Mock of the Wild then. Does anyone have self bats right now because I'll rebuff if need be? Oh, sorry, I'm using Spirit, there you go. I'm lining up as a tank and what someone vital for this. Let me know when you're ready. Ok, 
Kaidos and Mami Mu, you guys know to drop the grounding totem, I want to say, to take the shadow bolts, right? For your current warlock tank or shadow resistance tank. Cool. If you are a healer not assigned, just make sure you're doing raid wide healing when you're helping out, but do pick a tank and focus on them. It will just help out. Cool. Then Bartek, you're in charge, buddy. Okay, going in. Take threat Let's easy at the start. Make sure we let Bartek position his. Make sure we let Iron Up position his. To the slaughter. Your brash arrogance. You will not escape death. Ten. We're hitting our first melee out. Three, two, one. And if you're a caster, don't stand too close to the shadow res tanks. You aren't there to bait the blizzard onto them. That's just stupid. Kill the red bugs, melee as you go. Mm -hmm. Mummy's got good threat, but she also got knocked away. Mammy Mu, you will need to move. You're going to end up baiting Ten. the blizzard. Melee out. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Everyone else, make sure lighting up's the closest one to the boss on teleport. Perfect. Get away from Bartek. You can literally stand anywhere else in this room that is in that tank. Ten. Can um, people stop hitting these scarabs, please? Unless Three, it's enraged, two, you shouldn't be attacking it. One. Melee out, sorry. So, uh, Emperor TP is screwed again, position. Mm -hmm. Sorry, right, Mifrin can fix that one. Ten. Melee out. Three, two, one. May just be careful of the ignite stacks. You're getting each other killed. It's a bit stupid. Your fate is sealed. Watch your threat, please. Threat is low. Oh, melee. Mommy's down. Hunters, watch it on. I can't clash. be buffer. Mummy, can you ank? Ten. Hunters, just stop damage. Watch your threat meter, man. Come Melee on. out. I need a fucking tank Three, to pick up the next Emperor on the other side. One. It's gonna be on JC. Big heals. It's still on lightning. Cool. Big heals on Terror Stumper, please. Alright. This is what I call the resetting. Everyone just die. Bartek's trying to Ten. save it. All right, we'll go for it, Bartek. Melee out. Three, two, one. It's nope, going. cool. That's a wipe, guys. Out. Ten. Three, two, one. Right, Mami Mu, you need to start resing other people who can res as priority one. We need to get the chain rolling. You can cancel DI.
I can try to speak in call to stop the ignite if that helps. That would be helpful, yeah. Because that's what's Although... happened. Sotra died due to rolling ignite and frostfire as well. Yep. It's kind of fun though. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you guys could tank it, it'd be the best thing in the world, right? No, what killed Mummy in the end? Melee, uh, boss. His Emperor. So basically, the melee tank wasn't closest for you to take it off you. It's what went on Mummy. So when the caster guy teleported over to become the melee guy, Mummy was the closest one and just died to that. Correct. Okay. Well then, that's a very obvious area for improvement. Yeah, we just hit the hour mark pretty much. I'm resin mercurial, don't run in. Why is it even a mechanic fucking rest as a cooldown? Fucking so stupid. Res has a cooldown. On the target, it has a cooldown. Sometimes, oh, yeah. Uh... I mean, I get why in the open world, but it shouldn't be a thing in here. Because you can't really use it. It's not like you can keep running into raid and chain. It's not a thing. Yeah. Someone would try. I mean, I don't know why mass resurrection isn't a thing, I don't know why this game doesn't have checkpoints in raids, I don't know why you have the corpse run, so there are many things I don't know about this game. I'm afraid all of those things ruin my nostalgia. Ah, yes. Now, if you excuse me, <laughs> I'll go back to my paladin tank with infinite teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you little twat. I'm gonna do a ready check, but realistically, we're waiting on me. I'm gonna make sure that the group have just got groups um, six, seven, and eight to finish with. Point, do you wanna put on your shadow resistance gear and try and pump as much threat as you can? Just as a backup? We need an alliance bank, please. Yeah, it's in my bank. Oh, I see it. Thank you. Give me, a, give me a minute. Because like, what happens is we had mummy die, and we, I have no rebirth. Mummy's got no reincarnation, so like, there's no recovery unless someone else can tank it. Point, you need to be aware of the Chad move, right? When it's melee out, you run closest to the center of that circle. Second it teleports you with 5k yep. fright, you run away instantly. I understand, yes. Beautiful. Bartek could try, but he does a good enough job that he doesn't need to. I'm ready. Cool, we're waiting on lightning up. Let us know when you're good, buddy.
Beautiful. I'll take the line. You need the shield. Okay, going in again. He's doing it again. <laughs> I love it. Remember, take care on poor people. Let but thanks for listening. Your brash arrogance. You will not escape death. Ten. First melee out. Three, two, one. Every single melee ran away from the scorpion. Make sure you one kill the scorpions on your way through melee. Like good bop on yourself. Ten. Melee out. Three, two, one. Like get closer. Closer, bud. I think the totem's gonna troll. Yeah. Then it will burst. It's gonna be all the yeah. Akuna, good salvage. We need someone to pick this up now, though. Reposition it ASAP. I think we need to call my trash shiner there. Get behind that one. Ten. Cool. Don't Gusta, melee out. Three, two, when one. I find you, go struggle, Russia. He's blind. on left. Light down. Left on bump stairs. Okay. Jesus Christ. That is a second white people. I'm going to go spare now. Just super bad positioning on the right side. That's what killed us. Yeah. Light got knocked wow. away the worst time and it's just had a knockdown effect. Ten. Any DIs? Get your DIs out now, people. May as well die to make sure the rage res is faster. DI, I should. Three. And Two, Strutter one. is also, I think. No, nope, cool. Thank you. I think someone DI'd you at the same time you DI'd I should. I've got like a six second cooldown on mine, so I don't know what's happened mm. there. Maybe they pressed it and didn't go off. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, right. I, uh,. I'm gonna have to remove some buffs, I can't see it. <laughs> Hold up. We'll have to click through every single buff, it's fine. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my god. There it is. I starting to go further in because you were standing behind Mummy on melee out. Like, you just want to be there ready for teleport, being the closest. I might have instructed you to go to a bit too far in, to be honest, but it's hard to fucking tell. Yeah, that's definitely what happened. It's also important not to just brainlessly walk in, right? Mm. If, you, if you know you're going to get blasted away. <laughs> but I love brainless walking in. <laughs> Same. It's my favorite part of the raid. Also, can we make sure the totems like aren't placed on top of the Emperor? Because it's either like getting knocked away or the totem getting aggro.
thing. I won't. I'm very glad you've saved your rank. That's right, we could this time. And then we can enjoy the Uru fun times. Ooh, fun times. It's definitely worth soul stoning. I feel bad on our priests having to do all these free buffs again. Well, at least it's only at least it's three of us, not only one. <laughs> but... It could be worse. Yeah, you could be the only druid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, eh, three out of eight groups buffed isn't bad. At least it is only one buff though. Yeah. It's just it's not super cheap in your tank gear. It's very minus throw. Lighten up. I'm asking you to just be back up for this one, please. Like, if I fuck up, I fuck up. But at least you can be there to salvage. There's two of us, you know. It helps last time, just having that extra person. I have gone for my tank talents this time, though, so I'm not super grieving. Um, let's get my time to grief. <laughs> <laughs> the night is still young. You probably won't have to read buff, good luck. Yeah, that's totally fine. I'm waiting on the ready check bar tech and I'll let you know. Okay. What do you need 10 seconds for, Jamie? I can't. I'm seeing a lot of people ask for ally bots. We literally had one on the top of the thing just a little while ago. Pay attention, guys. We've had like oh. four out for like the last ten minutes. Yeah, literally. Yeah, I don't think John put it Let's away. go. Okay, going in again. Third time's the charm. I'm going in. Join me, brother. There is blood to be shed. It's too late to turn away. <laughs> you will not escape death. Ten. It's melee out. Three, two, one. Get off the. Ten. If you ever see a little thing hitting the tank, Melee, really, get it off the tank. Melee out. Three, two, one. Uh, we should probably drop the ignite now. Just cast a frostbolt. Good. Keep blasting. Group 2, please put down a venturi at melee. Right side. Thank you. You have two scorpions behind melee as well. 10. Melee out. 3, 2, 1.
10. Melee up. 3, 2, 1. Ten. My layout. Three, two, one. Well, you guys can kill it dead in this rotation. Ten. There we go, people. Good job. That is Twin Emperor's dad. No! I think a druid died to ignite. You think I died to ignite? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got too many stacks, sadly. Pretty decent, mate. Cool. Let's quickly. Good, good. And we have zero SRs. Give us some main spec rolls. I want rolls to go quickly, so roll as quick as we can. Cool, 4 Z is the only main spec, Aloris is second main spec, beautiful, in 3, 2, and 1, it goes to Aloris, and they are, and let's start the rolls for the next item, of finding Aloris, give us some main spec rolls. And in 3, 2, 1, goes straight to 4 Z, and I now need to run to the other side of the room. Um, little John, can you lead the first pull of the next pack, please? Uh, do we have any tank assignments for the upcoming pulls? Um, Mummy, Funky, Mifrin, and Lightning have an assignment. Happy, you probably will need to help out with this or Hakuna. Well, we have marks on, on one of the groups. Uh, just kill the Slayers first, guys. Spread everything out. Um, and I don't know where you guys tank the champion nowadays, but just Downstairs. tank it away from the raid. Okay, we can pull it now, maybe. Oh, that's way too late. Can we remark for this yeah. back yeah. in front of us, please? Yeah, thank you. Pull it, and then just pull it back. I'm tanking all these slayers together in the doorway, anyway, so just pick it up if you can. Um, it's four slayers. Please spread them out. Spread them out. Don't die to AOE damage. One's loose in the range. Another one's loose. We go unmarked. Get cleanses on the casters if you can. And then the remaining we can keep stacked and cleave down. We are not running the risk of 3 or 4 on shooting us anymore. And then we can kill the champion. Put down Tremors, please. Move both moves if you need. Fight. Nice, good job. Drink up, and then just get ready for another set of pulls. Uh, Mel looks alright. We can pull this. <laughs> just send the pet, and then it'll. By the time it's here, we're all gonna be full mana. Same stuff as before, except it's uh, less uh, less layers. Yeah, I see two start mind start slayers. Unmarked, start on unmarked, and then keep just spread the mind slayers out. Ranged. Your job is to hit hit the mind slayers at all times. Mele, just clear up the Slayer and then you do champion. Alright, now the champion. Make sure, please, if you see a Mind Slayer about to die as ranged, you want to stand maximum range of your ability, otherwise you get Mana Burn and Fear. Pay close attention. Uh, back, back. Uh, are you taking over? No, it's not. Go, 
our range should be on the square. Let's see, ranged on the champion. Mela, you don't need to go in. You get feared to burn. We can move up to the intersection now. I've missed turning my brain off, so I'm just gonna let you keep talking, little John. Alright. Well, everybody go up to the intersection. Uh, clear out some of these yellows on the floor. Before we pull. Clear out the yellows, come on. You heard the man, guys. Kill them. And we can send the pet. Uh, you can take the mine slayer to the sides. Uh, we can. We can stack all of these slayers up and then we just do a big AoE. Just focus call. Alright, that works as well. There's a split there. Uh, ranged on the Mind Slayer, melee on the champion now. Champion is in the back. Ranged, you are hitting the Mind Slayer. You are not hitting the champion. Nipple's about to die. Mommy is basically. Are we going to hear the yes word in Black Hole Lair on Thursday? Which yes word? The one that rhymes with FEMA. Oh. Not that one, coincidence. Uh, step back, guys. Uh -huh. Step back. You guys went too far. We're go we need to step back, otherwise, you run the risk of being feared into the patrol. You can pull the mark back, just do it quick. I think they walk towards us. And same spread out as before. You can stack the two slayers. Just move the mine slayers away. And then range focus moon at first after cross is dead. Melee gold champions. This will dispel the strength. That moon needs to move. And they pull last range. Don't drag it into the raid, please. Come on. The thing needs to be max range. And you need to adjust as well range. Half of you are gonna get burned then. And half of you got burned. What a shocking turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drink, don't move, just drink. Drink, restore your mana, and then eventually we're gonna run into him. We need people full mana for our next call. Okay, um, yeah, you can go. That's a bit early though. Just kill the Slayer and arrange for this one Slayer. Do we have like a tank on Skull or is it first come first serve? Uh, it's not even on the champion. I think it's first come first serve. Range, please keep your distance. You, you need to be max range every time. CC, mummy, no, please. We're not gonna go here with this, I'm gonna fear anybody. Can we not kill mommy, please? I'll go for you. There you go. Where's that? Unlocked is dying in the middle of the raid here. Okay, just pick up the uh, nipple, stabilize it, and then kill. Is it stuntable even? No. DC such a Okay, uh, oh, this is oh, Scott, you literally ran it in the raid. Yeah, that's raid on the other side. Where am I supposed to go? 
You know, we should do that. We should kill the Mind Slayers right in the middle of the rain so we feel as many people as possible. We've got to get, got to get those healers on their toes, am I right? Hell yeah. Let's dead, move up to the end of the tunnel. I mean, best I can do is say where I'm going and expect people to move around me. Right? I can't, there's like people on every side there. I mean, people should be paying attention, but that includes everybody. Get a mark on the control, don't pull it yet. The lag room. Plenty of time for Palace refresh buffs. Uh, speaking ahead, JC, did you guys still use this, uh, the strategy we made back in like May for the borders where you do the focus target or? We pull one and then we focus target. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we prioritize it down every time. Basically. Um, okay. Uh, we can pull this, keep the Slayer in the front, and move the Mind Slayers behind the raid. Uh, melee target move for now actually to stop here and then go over to the champion. Okay, melee, you can swap. Do not kill Moon, please. Do not kill Moon. Everybody's standing right here. Please stop damage on Moon. Stop damage. Astas stop on damage. square or Snipple? I don't care which one, just pick one. Yeah, for now, Nipple, please. That Moon needs to go away. Uh, square can be killed. Square is good. And move the move. Yeah, we're doing it. Near nipple. The of the raid, you're moving it in the front. You have to go down the pole. Okay, focus nipple range. You can also now start killing the moon as well. Yeah, you can cleave. Melee, don't go close. To know I would get peeped. <laughs> no one died, right? It's just not optimal. <laughs> um, so on this pack here, you can pull the obsidian nullifier that's closest to us with skull on it, and you don't pull the rest of it. Cool. Oh, that makes it so much easier. It's only on this pack. <laughs> Thank you, third coming up for this. Okay, I'm gonna go and find 30 yard range. Uh, what mark is free? I don't know, I'm just gonna take moon, whatever. Uh, stand on moon, please, when you're ready. Stand on moon. Warriors, druids, unbind charge. You are We've not got using Sotra. charge here. Nice. Material <laughs> behind mine. Oh, Sotra, did you? 69 wins material, that means the rules. Okay, people are ready, start precasting, please. I'm gonna do a pull five. Four, if there's zero people. Three, two, no charging. One. I only did it once. <laughs> and it wiped the raid. No. Yeah, I it salvaged did. it with like three people left alive. <laughs> and none of those people could rise, by the way. <laughs> yeah, for any other new people like Makiri who are confused, it's been a thing for a few months now. If you roll 69 on the red mount, win it. Ends the rules. Yeah. The mount doesn't actually do anything, it just looks cool, so that's yeah. why it's fine. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Is. Red equals win. If it makes you feel better, Mercurial, I rolled 99 once, then got beat by 100, so, you know. Stand I, I know pain. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop hitting the wrong fucking voice. Cross about the rest of that one. Uh, maybe it doesn't matter for this one. Yeah, I'll fly those, please. <laughs> Max damage. Max damage on the border. I don't know who's casting Wrath on the modifier, but don't. I'm not casting Wrath on the modifier. Right. 
step back a little bit, please. Step back. Just, just going to start that roll. Okay, very good. Anyone want those gloves? Um, can you prepare the pet? For a pull. Man is looking better, so if you can send the pet now, please. Those gloves are kind of cool. And then just let it get here. Um, move, square out, skull and cross, we can stack and cleave. And then nipple is a mind slayer. And move the champion like somewhere to the right hand side wall. Cross next, please. You can stack square with it. Since cross is dead, ranged on nipple, melee on square. Malian champion. Coin is alive. Uh, JC, if you have even a, please give him, and then we pull. Yep. Okay, send the pet. This orange table is not working. Kill the bone slayer. Spread out the rest. Keep the mind slayers in the front of the raid, and then we walk back as well. Ranged kit Muna, please. That's the closest one. Melee to a triangle. Back of the raid. Please make sure you keep your distance from the moon from that. Like, still half the range is getting fucking weird. Like, I mean, you are the taking the on the moon you're, just got feared. You are taking the talent to have 43 yard range. Fucking use it, bro. Shire as well, please. Get them. Careful, guys, I might whack you, my mate. It's a mind slayer and you're running into it. Nice, well done. Mummy's the only one I can laugh for that. Okay, stand on moon when you're ready. I'm gonna find 30 yards first. It go. sounds like I've ruined your fun, little John. I mean, yeah, I was like looking forward to a chill raid and I, I had like Duel of the Fates on like the entire time so I don't fall asleep because I've been fucking tired all day. Oh, <laughs> and I was just looking to relax, <laughs> bro. <laughs> cool, here's the full timer. Up. Thank you. We had a shot last week. Five, Make sure you hit the zero. Four, people know your spell three, fast times. Two, yeah. And actually one. hit the border. Like, I don't want to see like any fucking loose spells. I'm going to shot in the last two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, apply dots, please. We'll get you Sure. They can drop scarab bags? What the fuck? That's the first one I've ever had drop. Cool, I think we're at about seven remnants already. Not yeah. that's a bad thing, buddy. Stand on moon. What's a scarab bag? I guess that's scarab tonight. <laughs> no way. Who could have Five, guessed? Four. Eight to zero. Three. Two. One. I opened one chest and I had 18 items in the so. It is the chest you might lose. My boss. Two more 
mobs that can potentially drop on. We had a shard drop on that and trash pack at the stairs that have to scare them. Well, we got a red mount. Oh, another false. Alright, I have no clue how the new aura works. Oh, I... I've legit haven't been. Literally, no one managed to give me any consistent piece of information on how it works, it's so we're just gonna fucking wing it. Five I'm, I'm fine for running aura, don't worry. Okay. You have five <clears> seconds <throat> longer until it does sweep. Wait, wait. What was it about sweep? Five seconds longer between every sweep. The timer is off. If oh. you didn't change it. What group That's the only thing in? I can say. Gotcha. So we go out, for sweep, and Big Vic say, says zero instead of the four. Just watch right. it. It's about five seconds. So, watch. one sec. So here's an odd you need to know, right? So on sweep now, the tank does not lose threat. They can go back in, and they're back on the threat table where they were initially with their original number. So there's no threat hijinks going on. Whoever gets sandblasted, normally the second on the threat table, will end up getting their threat reset to zero. So realistically, times you need to be pumping and fighting for threat this whole fucking fight and making sure you're staying up there. Ideally, you are resisting sweeps, but like the main thing is sandblast. We need to make sure we know where that's getting targeted, and we aren't sandblasting the fucking raid group. If you sandblast the raid group, you're going to wipe us. That's not a good time. I was told sandblast hits second on threat. If it hits the tank, then it's all good, but like, we're still gonna have to have a tank for now so they can get off the threat table temporarily. We'll find out what exactly happens in this raid. We'll watch the threat table and see if it's going for the second on threat. If so, we have confirmation, we can work with that knowledge. But that's from what I've been told from the Dragon Watch officer chat about it anyway. Question, do we still pop cooldowns at the beginning then to burn them? If we can burn him, the bear. It rips threat though, right? Are you worried about that? I just want him dead, mate. I, I just want him dead. <laughs> it's apparently more like classic now, but like the Sandblast has a hundred yards range, so you can't outrange it as a Warlock. So like it's that same strategy. Funky should know more about that than me. Yeah. It can hit. Cool. So yeah, second and threat if it's going for range, mate. Yeah, in JDO's right now, I've seen it hit the range quite a lot. They ended up spreading around because it was like oh. difficult to judge where it was going. Range? Spread out then? You've heard that. We'll only use half of the room though. We have 180 degrees for spread, so use that properly. That means the tanks on the left and the right, you have about 45 degrees to spread out. Yes. What is it, mummy? Mummy is offline. Okay, cool. That's important knowledge. Is that an internet crash? Are you logging back online? What's going on? While I'm waiting, who hasn't got the add-on? It's probably a crash. There it is, she's back. Yes, she's back. Everyone start spreading out around the room. Let's get ready again. Tanks go in. Remember, use 180 degrees here for spreading out. Yep, yeah, use slash DTW to turn off the beam. Right, so five seconds, you said? Sandblast sweep CD in one. Sweep incoming. Sandblast next on Strutter. It's on me. I think. Okay. I'll call it. I saw him targeting Funky for that one. My threat has been reset. Melee out. We have sweep in two seconds. Sweep now. That's delayed, right? Sandblast on a Sunny. Point, I've got the updated add-on which has proper timers. Good. Sweep in four Nearly seconds. Out. Sandblast coming up in two. Really can see him. Get it. Waiting for sandblast. 
There it is on Mithrin. Sweeping five. Really out. We're waiting. Sun blast and three. Away, we'll We're waiting. We're waiting. Melee, why are you in? Well, it's Run a mercy. Away, that's girl. fine. But it's actually some mercy on time. Everyone spread out around the room. No one died to the popcorn this time because of our spreading, so that's pretty good. I use lucidity. I'm still being chased. Lovely. It stops the damage. It doesn't stop the chasing. Oh. You hold still if you pop lucidity. Cool. Everyone start coming towards the centre. Get ready to pick up the ads. That's the most important thing. We kill the ads. Let's find out where he is. Let's reposition. Cool. He's on the left-hand side of the room. Make sure we get someone in melee range ASAP before he submerges again. Cool. Right now, that's me. Pick up the ads off the tanks if you're a caster. Sand blast sweep, up. both in three seconds. First. Sand blast on anything. There's still a scarab alive. There we go. There's one more. Headley out. Beware. Sand blast coming up after. Or potential sand blast then. Headley in. Sandblast on Sotra. Sweep in six. Need to heal some Mithra. Melee out. Melee out. Get out. Right. Melee in. Melee in. Sandblast is going to be on Mithra. Good job, nice. people. So, what's happening, right, is on the sweep, people are getting knocked out. It means a cast is the top of the threat table, and that's where the sandblast gets targeted. So, as long as there's a melee in who has higher threat than the casters, we're all good. I think we need more tanks to pump threat, because you get reset if you get hit by sandblast. Yes. A Seni, grats on your SR. Good job, people. This is the best Ori we've had in a long time. I have to say that right now. Yeah, that was good. Can the people who res not go to Kutum, please? Going to Strutter. Sorry, Mercurial, you rolled too late for that one. The legs aren't really great for Warlock anyway, honestly. Um, probably the worst piece of the Super 5 set for Warlocks. Yeah, he won't be able to end him from on anyway, right? yeah. Actually, yeah, the boots, yeah, well... Yeah, the boots are the worst, the legs aren't much better. If you've got TT legs, you're doing good, honestly. Type slash CTW to turn off the beeping, but you have to get used to that for when we actually fight for Kifun. If you hear beeping, it means you're chaining people. Yeah, the head, shoulders and chest are really good for Warlocks. Legs and boots, not so much. Does a big wigs not work anymore for Cartoon or... Uh, it does, but like I prefer having an add-on where I can actually check and have my own snitching. No. Just because someone has big wigs doesn't mean they know how to use it. I know people have to listen to this beeping, because if they don't know how to use the add-on, they can't turn it off. I can force trigger it. <laughs> mm. Maybe we should create a custom version or custom sounds. Well, where it just screams sexy at people. <laughs> I mean, if that's, if that's fun. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I think we should have funky sound bites, so if you chain, you hear them go, unacceptable. <laughs> I'll do you old. stupid wanker, it'll go great. <laughs> we can have it so many different WAV files. As you're running up to Kafun, make sure you don't run across the doorway. Run across the wall opposite the doorway, please. We've not had people pull Kafun on accident yet. Blaster Chan, do you mind being our nature resistance bitch for pulling? To give it the best name in the world, of course. You betray your friends. Cool. 
Yeah, Ricardo's on our laptop too, so he's had to re-download the add-on. Feature reference, by the way, Jordan, you can't disenchant the Twilight Cultus pieces. Oh, I should have just deleted those. My bad. Or oh, Benton. Yeah. Cool. So I'm trusting people have downloaded their add-on. I'm now going to name out the melee who get to go inside. The Chan, Lord John, Valorin, Rador. Who else is going inside? Freyra. Kika. Sad boy. Yeah. Is that eight? Close. Uh, That's where seven. Are the, where are the positions? Is it like you scroll up all the way to the third? Is that what it Give is? Give me a second. Right, Here we go. <laughs> yeah, gotta make it awkward for people every time. Cool. So Metachan, Lord John, Valorin, Rudderor, Freyra, Kika, Satboy, and Akuna Matata. You guys are the eight people allowed on the inner ring, assuming you have this add-on downloaded. So we're going to wait for Hakuna to relog and see if he's given the privilege. Make sure you're spreading out. Your groups aren't going to look ideal for it. Just fucking spread out around the inner ring. It's not too hard. You have an add-on telling you if you're chaining people. So spread out without me telling you where to stand. Do you want a couple of um, the healers from group 8 to go to where group 1 is, maybe? Just so we're not all top-heavy. Uh, yeah, we'll swap Bobster and Valorin over you're for group good. numbers and we'll put we'll you in out. group two gusta okay cool cool ctw check your add-on's now turned on sorry val mercurial you best find a corner to look into because you've not got the add-on if you cause any chaining in this raid, it's not going to be a good time. Your friends will abandon you. Repeat, you're staring at the wall. You're standing by the wall. Okay. Asani, stop crying for a druid buff. You aren't getting it. The most important thing for people to be aware of, right? Pay attention to your group number. You'll see it in the top-hand corner of your screen. If you type slash raid info, you'll see a screen pop up that tells you what group you're in. For example, I'm in group five, so I'll be in the bottom left-hand corner of Kifun on the start, when it's a dark glare, that's the big eye looking at you with a massive beam going around the room. We go 180 degrees, so group 5 ends up in group 4's position. You guys can all use your eyes, you can see the swaps in the top left hand corner of the image. So like, it should be an easy time. We need to make sure we're focusing on tentacles for tentacle party, and we just get new Kifun in phase 1. In phase 2 we all get to the north of the room, spreading out loosely, don't have the walls. And we make sure we have tanks to pick up the big tentacles and everything else. When the big eye spawns, we stun it as priority 1. So Liani, you should see the swaps. You are in group six, so that means that you'll be swapping position with groups three and six on the image. You're starting out in group six. Here's the ready check. Can everyone put their like banks and cosmetic pets and all that way, please? Because otherwise it just gets the way when we're trying to target people. Right. Make sure we get a shield on Blaster Champ, please. Refresh it. Blaster, you can run straight through to the back of the room if you prefer. Like, you don't have to run out and back in. And we're good to go whenever you are. Right, he's going in. Everyone else, go to your groups. That's one. That's two. That's three. Good luck, Party, come on there. And first start with glass, okay, Run away, little girl. Run away. You don't have to worry about chaining on this part, so you guys can be close to each other while the eyes are And it's going counterclockwise. Make 
make sure you get to your next group position before you start blasting. Alright, tentacle party in one second. Get those tentacles down, people. Just fill the tentacle up in the back. Fucking kill this shit, guys. Judgment whistle on board. Damage, so we don't push. Good uh, to while tentacles are down, please. All damage. Hold, Next, hold. dark glare incoming. Tentacle party right incoming. Down. Get the tentacles right dead, away. people. Watch out for dark glare. Kill these tentacles. Don't kill for fun. Kill the tentacles. Get these tentacles down, guys. Cool. Spread out in the north of the room. Giant claw spawning in five. Four. Get to the north faster. Red loosely, northeast, beautiful. Got a tank there. If you get sent inside, start killing the left tentacle first, please. We will call out when to kill the right tentacle. If you're a healer inside, just get out instantly. Giant eye and tentacle party spawning in four, three. Make sure we get the giant eye stunned. Casters, make sure we get control in the back of the room. Good stun. Kick. Good. Good. First tentacle is almost dead inside. Beautiful, first tentacle down. Start killing the second one. We'll say when to actually kill it though. Just get it low. Small tentacles in three, giant four in two. Get the tentacles in the back of the room casters. Make sure we have a tank on this giant floor. Still one tentacle up in the back of the room. Hold. Kill it. Remember, go to the entrance side of the room to be attacking it from its back, people. That's why you can't be tired and all the good shit. We can one phase this, use your fucking cooldowns and nuke it, guys. Even healers. Dot supply to the end, carry over, by the way. Make sure you're starting your dots in the last one or two seconds, people. But we can keep pushing, we might be able to kill it one phase. Show us your damage. Come on, here, execute phase, and we're good. Alright, nope, get your dots out. One more round, guys. That's real fucking close, though. Good job. Yeah, good enough. Giant claw spawning in one second. Middle of the room. If you get sent inside, focus on the left tentacle first. Three seconds for tentacle party and giant eye, one second zero. That's one now, get tentacles in the back of the room, make sure we have a stun on this on the left. Kick it, kick. Do next turn. Good cheap shot by the way from whatever rogue did that. That means you went into star. Good play. Push those up. Small eye giant claw in five seconds. Um, Terra, just fucking push it, by the way. Kill the second tentacle inside. Tentacles in the middle in the second room. So in position. Alright, we're gonna push it, hold on to the massive core tentacle, and we just kill yeah, the I got it. 
I got the tentacle. Beautiful. Still need some heals. Beautiful job, people. That is a nice kill. Nice helmet, bro. We got the axe instead. Oh, Dark Age. That's not bad. Oh, well. Funky, here is your SR. <laughs> Akuna Matada has SR'd Dark Edge, so congratulations to him. Good SR choice. I have Kefun. Let me just double check the rank. Pretty sure pretty certain I have Kefun is on there, but it might not be because it's so common. No, it is. Cool. 